All praises to Yahweh by Shami Hawashai, by Shama Kakwadash, the brothers to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, and Shalawam to the to the nation of Israel. This is going to be a lesson going into how evil it's getting out here, man. Right? And I just saw from from one YouTube channel that um that a a restaurant worker was killed for putting too much mayonnaise in the sandwich or in the particular food item that they bought from the restaurant, right? And then somebody had commented saying too much mouth too, which is more than likely true, right? More, that's more than likely true because a lot of times when somebody makes a mistake in this world, rather than just accept that they made a mistake and correct the mistake that they made, they want to like spaz out, they want to give a bit of lip some lip service and they want to try and leave that situation feeling as though they haven't been disrespected in any way, right? So we don't know how the particular person came regarding that situation and what kind of attitude they had or whatever when they said that they had a problem with the sandwich, but the fact that they had a gun and was prepared to use it shows that they didn't didn't react in a wise way. But I want to just quickly go to our scriptures because doesn't really matter how they, them people act, because we how the way how we act can decide what they end up doing. This is Proverbs chapter fifteen of verse one. A soft answer turneth away wrath, but grievous words stir up anger. I'll read that again. A soft answer turns away wrath, but grievous words stir up anger. So if he would that guy would have came in and said, "There's a problem with my sandwich. He's got too much mayo," and even he would even if he would have sweared, right? If that particular worker would have said, sorry about that, sir, I'll just change the sandwich right now for you, right? That would have been handled, right? But if more than likely, they didn't say that. So then therefore, that stirred up anger and that person ended up killing somebody, not because there was too much too much mayo in the sandwich, but more than likely because they took offence to what that person was saying, right? And there's many things in the scriptures that say that don't um, mess with us, don't strive with the mighty man. Don't meddle with don't like meddle with people that don't think that it's a small thing, don't think that it's a big deal to, to take away life. Right? There's many things. This is Proverbs chapter 16 and verse 7. When a man's ways please Yahweh, he maketh even his enemies to be at peace with him. So when a man does an or a woman does the things that are right towards Yahweh, it will even cause our enemies to be at peace with us, man. They will end up coming out of a dirty situation, smelling like roses. Right now, now that I've said all that, I'm gonna go to this article because I saw one situation where today somebody lost their life over some foolishness, right? But then now I'm seeing, and I saw earlier to, on today in the morning, I believe, like I saw this. Well, it can't have been in the morning to be fair. So like here, I'm a bit tired, man. It can't have been in the morning because the art, the the date of the article is right here. So I, I'm trying to remember which one it was that I saw first, whether it was the this article or the um, too much mayonnaise thing, man. But either way it goes, two situations today where people have lost their lives over some over something that they didn't need to, man, which shows that it's getting real evil out here, man. So I'm going to get into the article. It says, Aspiring lawyer 35 who was battered to death by a stranger in random attack as she walked home at night in East London as police arrest man 29 over her horrific murder. So a woman was killed, right, in a random attack, battered to death. Like, that's a horrible way to die, man, to get smashed to death. That's horrible. And this ain't no this ain't no video burning out, burning out either the two people that I've mentioned, right, either the one that was the too much mayonnaise thing or, or this particular scenario. But it's a thing that we have to just be wise out here, man, right? Because these people have got demons on them man and it, and it's also a video right because both of the victims of these murders were women from what i understand so it's also a video as well going into how yahweh through the israelites has been warning you female israelites man and telling you to wake up because you're not prepared you're not prepared for the things that are going to come upon the earth man i know you think you are right because you, you when you walk out of your house there's at least 10 guys that think that you're attractive, right? 
even when you even when you might be an average looking woman, there's at least ten men that are gonna give you the eyes in some kind of way, right? So you you kind of have a false sense of security based on these things. But whenever that veil is removed, right, what ends up happening? Well, in the scenario where they're too much male, someone ended up losing their life, and in this scenario, someone ended up losing their life again, man. He was just attacked in the street, and I've, when I carry on reading the article, it says that he was near a house. Let me carry on reading. He says, Zara Alina, 35, died after being horrifically assaulted in Ilford, East London. Met police launch murder probe. Met police launch murder probe into attack after the aspiring lawyer was killed. Force said women should not be alarmed or urged them to be alert. And that's what Israelites have been trying to tell you women. But we're telling you that you should be alarmed. And that you should also be alert because Yahweh is getting ready to judge the world, man. Right? And you women are not going to escape that judgment. And Yahweh is looking for people that are sighing and crying for the abominations that are done on this earth, man. Like, just today, I saw a um, I saw a statue, right? And it was called, the statue was called the real family. A real Birmingham, a real Birmingham family. That's what the statue was called, right? So, I was looking at the I was looking at the statue and I was like, what? I saw it from a distance. I was like, I bet this is some kind of abomination. And so I went over to it and the statue had two women, right? On I, It had four four people on there, right? Two women, one woman on either end and then the two children in the middle and one woman's pregnant. But it, the, the, the um, statue is called the, a real Birmingham family. But you have to ask yourself, how the hell did the woman get pregnant? Because we, we know that women don't have seeds. So how can that be a real a real family, man? How is that a real family when you need a man to get a woman pregnant? A man and a woman are needed for a pregnancy to take place. And anyone that says otherwise is stupid. Because they, if they're trying to say, oh, we, we just use the sperm and all that. Well, where did the sperm come from? Right? But these types of thought processes and this type of level of pride is why... Women end up getting jacked up, man. Let me carry on reading. This is Ezekiel chapter 9 and verse 4. And Yahweh said unto him, Go through the midst of the city, through the midst of Jerusalem, and set a mark upon the foreheads of the men that sigh and that cry for all the abominations that be done in the midst thereof. And to the others he said in mine hearing, Go ye after him through the city and smite. Let not your ears spare, neither have ye pity. Slay utterly old and young, both maids, and little children and women, but come not near any man upon whom is the mark, and begin at my sanctuary. Then they began at the ancient men which were before the house. So judgment's going to come for everybody when it comes. Right? It's going to come for the women. It's going to come for the men. As we saw as we saw in this, and I'm, I'm not saying that this woman's an Israelite, but she could be. She could be. We don't know, we, we don't know her father's lineage, man. But let's just take it at the um, if we just take it as for what it is, that she's a heathen. Well, then Yahweh is showing that even it's happening to these heathen women. So how much more is it going to happen to the women that are under a covenant with God, along with the men? If it's happening to them, why why are you women thinking it's not going to happen to you, man? This is Isaiah chapter thirty-two and verse nine. Rise up, you women that are at ease. Hear my voice, ye careless daughters. Give ear unto my speech. And why is Yahweh asking you to give ear to, unto his speech? Because there's stuff like this happening, man. Let me carry on reading this. It says, a man 29 has been arrested on suspicion of murder. Police confirmed. An aspiring lawyer who was killed by a stranger in the late night random attack on her way home has been named by police. While a 29-year-old man has been today, has today been arrested on suspicion of murder. Zara Alina, 35 was found with serious head injuries in Redbridge, Ilford on Sunday morning and the Met and the Met police have since launched a murder probe and that's like that's a crazy way to go man because you're almost home, you've get you're letting your defences down and then you lose your life man and that's why the, the covering of Yahweh is so important man. And that's why we got moving maneuvering our ways According to the scriptures, it's so important because I, I guarantee that that person, that person, when it came to that story that I heard as well about the too much male thing, I guarantee they didn't expect that they was going to lose their life that day, man. They probably thought it's just going to go the way 
how it always goes whenever a woman shows has an argument with a guy over um over something, man. Because more than likely they did argue because if they would have just if the person came in there about there being too much mayonnaise on their sandwich and then the mayonnaise gets corrected and they even get given a whole another sandwich, the person's not going to lose their mind over that. They're just going to take their sandwich, and and go. And more than likely, in that person's day that committed that, they was receiving several other points of disrespect throughout their day. And it just so happened that that person was the tip of the iceberg, man, which caused them to lose their mind. And that, that's what's going to happen in this world in general. People are taking, taking L's. People are losing things gradually, right? People have never had nothing in, in general, some certain people. So then there's going to be a certain thing that's going to come to pass where people are going to lose their mind. Right, the whole um, whole v Wade. That's what I'm calling it, whole v Wade, man. That whole thing has caused for a lot of these women to lose their mind, right? That's causing for these alphabet people to lose their mind because they're somehow trying to get involved in people having, having children, and trying think and and really only stepping in. It's coming out that they're only stepping in for that because they think that that's gonna somehow get rid of their. Wicked lusts being able to get fulfilled. So these women that want to be able to kill their children, their wicked lust has been taken away in certain places. So then that's the, the old alphabet people is getting involved in that because they wanted to try and keep their wicked wicked hopes still alive, right? And then they're trying to still push it on other things and say, oh, that they think that it's going to mean contraceptives and all of that is going to be taken away. But they, these people are just clowns, man, right? They, they, they'll say anything to, in order to carry on staying with their sins, man. Isaiah chapter 32 and verse 10. Many days and years shall you be troubled, ye careless women, for the vintage shall fail, the gathering shall not come. Tremble, ye women that are at ease. Be troubled, ye careless ones, strip you and make you bare, and gird sackcloth upon your loins. They shall lament for the teach, for the pleasant fields, for the fruitful vine. So things are going to be getting real evil out here, man, and they already are. Right? Things are already very evil out here, people are already very mean towards each other, people are already either extremely proud, right, extremely like just deluded and lost, or com they look completely drained, like they ain't got no hope whatsoever in society, or they're extremely happy and gleeful and think that things are going to get better somehow, man, when it's not going to happen, that's not, that's not what's coming, let me go back to the article, um, so lucky. It says she was attacked by a stranger while walking along Cranbrook Road in the in the direction of Gants Hill Station and the High Street and the High Street as horrified neighbours revealed how they heard loud screams following the attack. So he this sounds like it was horrible, man. It sounded like it was horrible. Police named and pictured the trauma, the tragic victim today, the tragic victim today, just before they announced, just the, just before they announced that a man 29 was arrested on suspicion of her murder. Of her murder, let me kind of read it. It says London ambulance, London ambulance who called who called the police at 2:44 a.m. to the scene took Miss Alina to hospital, where she later died. Right, so. She was attacked or didn't die on the spot. But then later on afterwards, she ended up losing her life anyway, man. Which goes to show, which goes to show, man, that this place is just hell, man. Right? And and you women are not really, don't really have much defences. So that's, that's more proof that you all need to be humble, man. You all need to be humble because Yahweh has got spirits out there of vengeance that are always waiting to inflict damage, man. On both the men and the women. But women are the main ones that are thinking that nothing can happen to them in this world. And men have been the men of your nation, the men of you the nation the men of your nation, man, have been trying to tell you to fix up, to get it right. And you women are still not hurting, man. You're still proud when you when we see you on the street. You still got haunty eyelids, you still got wanton looks, right? And really, a lot of you are being made to stay in that place. And in, and in that mindset and in that haughtiness so that Isaiah, the third chapter, can really be brought to life, man. Right? Isaiah, the third chapter, 
leading into Isaiah, the fourth chapter, can really just be brought to life, man, by where you men are going to lose all the things that beautify yourself. Starting from verse 16, Isaiah to the 3, verse 16, you're losing all the things that beautify yourself, to then losing all the men that would normally keep you safe, to then just being desolate and coming towards the men that are about the Lord, but them men ain't going to want you a lot of them. Let me carry on reading this. It says, Police named the picture of the tragic victim today just before they announced that a man, 29, was arrested on suspicion of her murder. London Ambulance, who called the police at 2.44 to the scene, took Miss Alina to hospital where she later died. And that's, this is another reason why this, this um, society is grievous because if somebody does something like this, us brothers, we already know what the judgment is supposed to be, man. They ain't supposed to be getting no jail time or nothing like that, according to the scriptures. It's meant to be a life for life. So the family that's that's the victims, that the family of this victim are going to be disgruntled because they're going to know in their heart, really, that true justice has not been acted out, man. So then they're going to be traumatised for, the, for, 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 the whole, for, for their whole life, thinking about it all the time. Whereas if the judgment was to get put out properly, then that would kind of cleanse the blood, man. It would cleanse the blood and, and get rid of the wickedness. And that's why we're about the scriptures, man, because the scriptures has got true judgment in them. And let me get that scripture that I'm talking about, in fact. Let me get that. Like, brothers have been trying to tell you women to fix up, but a lot of you are not going to fix up, so then you're always going to cause for you to get fixed. This is Numbers 35 and verse 33. So you shall not pollute the land wherein you are, for blood it defileth the land, and the land cannot be cleansed of the blood that is shed therein, but by the blood of him that shed it. So if a person goes around shedding blood, they're defiling the land, and the only way to cleanse what they're shedding is for them to lose their life, for their blood to be shed. That's what the scriptures say. Now, we know that in when that's not a thing that I'm recommending for brothers to do, because we know that judgment's in the hand of the Lord. Right, and that Yahweh is going to cause for everything that he wants to happen to happen anyway. Right, let me carry on. Let me, let me read a bit more of this and see what else it says. It says, Zara, who lived near who lived near where she was found, see, so she was, she was, she lost her life very close to home, man. She lost her life very close to her home, where she was found, died of multiple injuries, but police said that no weapons have been found, has been found yet, as they continued with the probe. So yeah, let me carry on a little bit more. It says, today in a statement, Chief Superintendent Stuart Bell described the murder as tragic and said a full investigation was underway. And local MP Sam Tarry said that, said the murder was something out of the ordinary for his constituents. So it was because it is out of the ordinary, man. Because it's not normal for you to just be walking down the street and get attacked and die, right? And then, obviously, us brothers, we understand what 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 really went down, and we understand that there's spirits that are made for vengeance, man. And at certain times when these things happen, it's done to really make people fear the Lord, man. And I'm not, I'm not really going to talk too much about this anymore, man. I'm just... I just wanted to put a video out there about this particular topic because brothers have been trying to warn these women, man, and, and women are not taking attention, man. They're not really paying attention to these things because it has to happen to them before because they all think they're special and think that they're immune from judgment because they receive it so little in their life. They're not given accountability at any point in their life. And then when it goes bad for them, it normally goes bad to the extreme level. Right, and I'm I'm just gonna end the video there, man. You women, you Israelite women, need to be aware, man, because there's evil out here, man. You need to be aware. All praises to Yahweh, Hashem Yahushai, Hashem Makar Kodesh. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, and shalom to the to the nation of Israel. Shalom.